Big crowd, as you'd expect. St Kilda with the breeze, go to the right. Vitovic to go against Wine. Wine won it clearly. Atkins taps it forward. Morris goes to ground, taps it away. Atkins off the ground. Harvey, who won the Witten medal on Tuesday night and was quite brilliant. A short kick. Bingham's handball was cut off. Uh, attacking the footy hard, Hunter. The handball is good to Baxter at centre wing. A high one towards half forward. Del Rey and Frawley could be one of the interesting duels of the day. There'll be a few. A uh, Coleman crashes his way through. Went to handball, goes for goal. Misses. Morris gets underneath. And does it go out on the fall? It does. Morris to take a free kick from the back pocket. Well, you can see there an indication from that kick that the wind very strong here at St Kilda. It's blowing across the ground into the face of Glenn Coleman, who is going goalward on that occasion. Russell Morris uses the wind by kicking the ball high. Big pack. And there he is, Scott Wine. I'll get some comments on Don from Don about this player later. Perhaps he is a dinosaur, perhaps not. He gets the ball further ahead with a good handball and a long kick into the Footscray forward line. Footscray looking good early with Royal. A quick kick, but the free kick has been brought back. It's been wild with that kick anyway, Brian. Royal, he had plenty of time there. and uh... Well, Tony Liberatore will shoot for goal from 40 metres out. And I think this distance would be beyond him considering the strength of the wind. No score on the board as yet. The Brownlow medalist kicks the ball long. He sat it up. It looks pretty good off the boot. Was it touched? I think it's a goal. So first score to Footscray. A goal into the wind, a valuable one to Tony Liberatore. They lead by that score. Well, the wind must have dropped at that critical moment when Liberatore let that ball go because it really did cover some distance. You can see there... The free kick it was either in the back or around the neck. You see just holding up as it just goes over the line. Vitovic getting a hand to it, but too late. 